hi and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be performing the kermogos smirnoff test also known as the ks test the kermogos smirnoff test or the ks test is basically used to determine whether the data is normally distributed if you had a look at my youtube channel you will find that i have a few videos on uh, determining normality and normality can be determined using the skewness and kurtis's values also however the ks test is popularly used in statistics to determine the normality of data so let's go ahead and perform this test so here we have two variables both are in continuous form one is depression score of the respondents the other is the anxiety scores of the respondents so we have about 20 respondents and uh, let's go ahead and check whether the depression score of the respondents uh, is normally distributed so for this we need to go to analyze Go to non-parametric statistics, select one sample KS, now enter depression score, make sure that normal is ticked off and then click OK. So here we have the results of the kermogos mirnov test. So the kermogos mirnov value is 0.77 but the most important value we need to look into is the significance value. So the p-value here is 0.591 which is greater than 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 is the threshold we use to determine the significance. So since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, okay, since it's 0 0.591, which is greater than 0 0.05, uh, we, have, we can say that the data is normally distributed because we do not want a significance here uh, if we are looking for a normal distribution. So since the significance value is greater than 0 0.05, we can safely say that the data is normally distributed in the case of depression. Now let's go ahead and check the same for anxiety scores of the respondents. We click on analyze, non-parametric statistics, one sample KS, we remove depression and add anxiety, make sure normal is selected, click OK. Now we go to the output and here too we see the Kermogos Minov value of 1.52 and the significance value however is 0 0.013 now that is less than 0 0.05 right so therefore here since we have a statistical significance okay we have a p-value of 0 0.013 which is less than 0 0.05 we have to say that the data is not normally distributed in this case okay the data is not normally distributed and uh, as you know some of the parametric tests require you to have normality of the data so since the data is not normally distributed in the case of anxiety we cannot perform those parametric tests however in the case of depression since we do, since we uh, have a normal distribution we can perform the parametric tests okay so that's about it for this video. I hope you found this video useful on the Kermogos Mirnov test. If you have any doubts, please leave them in the comment section and I will try and try and answer them. Thanks for watching and bye for now.